So, Whitney, uh, so now that you're directing, what do you think, if anything, your experience as a performer brings to the table that might make you maybe better than someone like me, who's yeah. never performed in front of the camera? I'm not saying that. Um, yes, you are. No. <laughs> you're about to. No. Um, I would just say, basically, performer... <laughs> safety and it, like knowing whether they're comfortable on set and just looking back in situations that I've thought wow I would really love it um if like this was paid attention to more or if someone asked me like even something as small as or something like with the dialogue and you know gave me some feedback which when I've been on sets and I've gotten feedback from the director, like when I ask them, was this how you wanted me to deliver or was this the emotion that you wanted me to get across? And they've said, yes, I love it. That was perfect the way you delivered it. Then that made me feel really good and like I was doing something really important and bringing a good character to their movie because I want them to be proud and of course now on the directing side I want the actors to be proud of what they're putting out too so I feel like just listening to them and also knowing like being on the other end of it just looking out for things like that what about you Lena um, I would definitely say that as a performer, I can put myself into the shoes of the people that I'm employing quite frequently and sort of see, you know, okay, I can, I can push for this, but I shouldn't push farther than that. Cause after that point, like I'm seeing, even if you're not saying it, I'm seeing your discomfort. I, I think that one thing that really sobered me in being a performer director was the idea that like there really is you're like one bad day away from being a non-ethical set essentially Mm -hmm. like there is no such thing as like a permanent state of ethics but that it's like a constant maintenance and check-in and you can't like get lazy and just assume that what is happening on your set is okay because you would be okay with it in their shoes like I'm constantly having to practice like there's very much like a conscious practice of checking in and constantly reinforcing that it's okay to like voice dissent on my set if you're uncomfortable like say so yeah I totally relate to that there's I think there's days that we've all had where we're under the gun because you know a lot of times we you know now you know as like a producer and director like we have to consider time and we have to consider like you know most locations charged by the hour and also like we don't want to keep our crew there all night and that kind of thing so it's that delicate balance between trying to make sure that the performers needs are accommodated and that everybody is getting what they need and then also to like meeting this timetable and like getting the production done and like doing it in a reasonable amount of time so it's like it's a difficult balance and it's really awkward too because there's also like elements not even just of like sexual actions but just like physical discomfort because our job is often physically uncomfortable and sort of gauging with the talent like okay we all are pushing our bodies to a certain extent like to what extent are you willing to push your body for me because I know how far I'll push mine but I can't ask you to like be at the same level of like discomfort that I routinely put myself into which yeah is that that's awkward just constantly gauging that Right, right, right. Um, so, uh, Lena, um, do you did you ever feel that when you started directing, coming, you know, from a place as being a performer, did you ever feel that? And also, too, I think this could apply to one as a woman as well. That like maybe your crew didn't take you as seriously. I don't take myself. I didn't take myself seriously. But do you know what I mean? Like, do you ever like give people direction? And Whitney, I'm going to ask you this as well, and they'll just kind of be like. You don't know what you're talking about. That is so you don't funny. Understand lighting. It's so funny that you say that because my literal DP just walked in because he's yeah. doing the coverage. So then you're the not going to be honest then. <laughs> no, 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 no. What? The, actually, I did go through a couple of camera guys first because I had that conflict of you know I'm asking for something and you're looking at this and you've got ten times the amount of experience that I have in the field and you're telling me 
No. And I'll take a no in the right way. Like, I'll take a, here is my educated opinion and this is it. But at the end of the day, at times, I'm still going to push past that for whatever vision that I have in mind. And occasionally, just because, sadly, I need to learn <laughs> that that doesn't work. Um, and Alex, the DP that I have, has been amazing for, if we have a disagreement, he'll state here's why in an educating fashion but he won't push past that and I did encounter a lot of initial pushback and just when first directing also just commanding and controlling the crew and the cast like it's like herding cats <laughs> like and you have to get to this this voice and this mannerism that will cut through the just absolute chaos of like a room filled with more than three performers and more than three crew members and get them to pay attention to you. That's a whole different skill set. Yeah, definitely. 